Hello, my name is Philip Paul, and I'd like to welcome you to Pipe Robotics Incorporated's new patented pipe laying machine. This is a pretty simple concept. We've been working on it for quite a while, and we've got uh, been doing testing and building. We've got a great patent on this thing, and we've figured out how to bring the ROI of pipe laying to twice what it is. We can double the speed. We can get rid of the man in the ditch for the most part, cutting insurance, bringing up safety, and we can work in all weathers and conditions. Also, with the uh, new GPS units, uh, with the way we can reverse lasers, we can also lay curved sewers, which means you can follow a street now instead of going to manhole to manhole with a straight laser beam. Uh, this version right here we're going to talk about is just the, the simple way to lay pipe and how you do it. Let me, let me open this box up. I have a, another model here right below it that we can just see right here in the cab. And you can see the uh, way she works right here. Gets you a good view. Is how this is, is it's a uh, trench box, basically, with uh, a pipe dispenser, cutaway view here. And it's got a, a drag bar, and it's got a, a stone hopper that uh, carries a stone, dispenses a stone. This has a robotic arm, basically, that runs on a level plane, or a, I call it a screed, but the elevation of this uh, pipes here that, that the uh, arm slides on will be to a fixed elevation of the percentage of slope of the pipe so that you have a parallel um, ability to lay your stone, parallel to lay the pipe, parallel to give you measurements. Basically, when you lay pipe right now, you uh, dig your ditch with a, with a track hoe, and you pull the box into position, put your man down the box, uh, you, or you dig out the inside of the box, put your man on the box. You uh, install stone, and you, he grades the stone. You bring him down a pipe. He, he lays the pipe. You, he gets it in place. You bed it with more stone. Man gets out of the box, or some places man stays in the box, but you, you back up and start digging again with your track hoe. Well, Let's pretend that uh, this was a man here in a box, a robotic man, and he could carry his own stone, his own pipe, and have the ability to do all that by himself without the track of stopping and waiting and helping him. So if you see what I'm getting at here, when the track hoe stops digging, your production or your momentum forward down the line stops. So the idea of this is, is multitasking, and it's very simple, and it works out very, very well. It's definitely the future of pipeline. With the sticks loaded in here, this is a, a four-foot wide model with an eight-inch pipe in it. Um, if you've got a, a laterals coming off the pipe, that'll be pre-glued or pre-set um, or even butt-fused, or there's many ways that Pipe companies are talking about making elongated fittings for us we can cut off that you can drop in the hopper, they'll walk down through it too. The track hoe now has a lot of time. The track hoe, uh, depending on the size of it, let's, let's just take an example of laying a foot of pipe a minute. So there's, there's all different rates of speed. You can't really just say this is what it is for any person because some dirt's harder, some dirt's wetter, sandier, cave in. Sometimes you've got things in your way. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on in the pipe. It depends how deep you are, uh, how much you're bedding, how you can get your material to you. So uh, on an average, you know, 12 foot deep, 8 inch pipe, a good day is you're laying a, you're laying a foot a minute. So that's uh, uh, average stick is 14 feet. So it's approximately, uh, give or take, uh, 14 minutes to lay a stick of pipe. And uh, that's for sure not in horribly bad circumstances. That's, that's a pretty good circumstance. So we're going to use that for an example. The, uh, 
ability to this is that, well, let me get some more pictures up here, as you can see the machine here, is that uh, when you're pulling this through the ground, and let me get a job site up, you can see that you got a, you got a truck, in this case it's a Hummer, <laughs> it's a, it'll go anywhere, so I figured it's a good one to use for your remote control guy. If he's not on the internet doing this, or at your office running this through data on the internet to the machine. I think it's better to have the pipe layer guy out there, but I, I think the future someday will be you have uh, boiler rooms of people that are pipe layers or from their own home. They sit on the computer and they have a rating of how good they can lay pipe. And they're all around the world, so they're sewing up every day, and you pick your best guys, start from there down, and uh, they lay pipe like a video game. But until then, right now, we'll go for the remote with the video and everything. You can see the pipe machine down the ground, no men. You got payloader if you want that to bring your material stuff. Or if it's real muddy, you can get the payloader. You can always take track on, load your stone. You've got to load your pipe in the side. Uh, different ideas of forking in the pipes and rolling them into the, into the side bin, basically. The uh, great ability of this, and this would be a view from sitting inside the truck, the, the operator with his, uh, he'd have some video screens down in to see what he's laying, but he's basically just running a remote control arm down in the box that uh, grabs a flat dozer blade to, to level the stone, puts that back, grabs the, drops the pipe down, lays the pipe, holds the pipe in position. You can see the laser beam of the target, uh, blows some, uh, some uh, lubrication on there for the pipe, cleans it out, uh, Stone drops, holds the pipe, pretty simple. But, but the big trick to this again is that we're gonna lay pipe at the same time we're digging. So with that ability going on, the hoe now has time to dig that seven minute ditch and dig again. So he's gone double the distance in half the time. Because if you had your own stone and your own pipe where you could lay it yourself in the box, you push a button, you get enough stone, you grade it out of the way, you put down the pipe, you hold the pipe in place with the target, you insert the pipe, hold it, drop the stone, you're going to be racing the haul operator. And uh, you should, I believe, be able to, in most cases, lay faster than the hoe operator, uh, unless the hoe is just huge out of proportion. So you, you want to get the proportions balanced. That depends how hard the dirt is, how deep you're digging. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of things going on here. So, but at a minimum, you should be able to double your normal pipe laying speed at a minimum. That, uh, and, and with a great accuracy and comfort, just like uh, being in a, in a track hoe out in a, out in a hot area, say here in the desert, in the jungle, hot summer in, in, uh, in Alabama, it doesn't matter. You got air conditioned, controlled, your, your employees feel better, they're stronger with what they're doing. Uh, everything is just just works better when everybody is comfortable. So, with that ability, we're uh, able to increase our production just quite substantially, and that's the simpleness of pipe robotics. And that's what we're trying to explain. And that's what we've patented: is the hopper design, the, the pipe dispensers, uh, the 3D track. This is called that parallels everything. We also have vibrators, so when the stone comes down, it vibrates at an angle so that we can slip away as we pull to the next pipe. Well, I hope this has helped you to understand a little bit, and we'll have more videos to come. Thank you very much.